Come on, big flame. I'm pulling out with a sick chain. Tell me in the Porsche in the six lane. I'm big fish, I'm big game. Come on, big flame. I'm pulling out with a sick chain. Tell me in the Porsche in the six lane. I'm big fish, I'm big game. Hello and welcome to this new video. The slow motion sphere is actually not new, but since so much has happened in the Flip Fluids add-on and Blender itself is now much further along, I would like to publish an updated version of this tutorial here. In addition to a 3D model of my own head, I also use high quality models from Blender Kit. Blender Kit is an insanely great add-on that allows you to get really good 3D objects in a very quick way. So you can find a link to it in the video description. There's also a tutorial from Flip Fluids that explains in detail how to handle important models. You will find also a link in the video description. Here we go. Okay, what do I need? First of all, of course, the sphere as a fluid object and the duplicate of the sphere as a force field object. Force fields can be used to influence the gravity of the scene and thus manipulate the behavior of the liquid. For the force field object I use the following settings. Mode, volume force so that the gravity within the force field sphere is affected. And a strength of minus 5, this is the power of the force field. Then there's fall off power, but I'll leave that at 1. How far the force field reaches can be set here with the min and max values at distance. Now comes another very interesting area, and that is anti-gravity. The gravity scale value determines how great or strong the gravity is within the force field object. No matter how big the set power of the field is, you can turn off gravity by entering a value of zero. And with width, you can set how gently the anti-gravity is faded out, so to speak. Here I take a value of two. If you want to understand the settings in detail, take a look at the Flip Fluids Complete Guide video. Link also in the video description. Well, the main is there. Fluid source is there and force field is there. Now the collision objects are still missing, which are supposed to fly nicely in slow motion. As just mentioned, I take my 3D head and a few models from Blender Kit that I make suitable for simulation. Directly turn all objects into obstacles and distribute them in the scene as I would like to shoot them through the water. Okay, and now I could animate all objects by keyframes or I could turn all objects into physical objects, rigid bodies and drop them according to the set gravity. By the way, gravity in rigid bodies is not necessarily the same as in flip fluids. This is because the flip fluids add-on can be based on the set C gravity, but in special cases it can be important that flip fluids works independently of rigid bodies according to its own gravity. Such a special case is here, because I will change the gravity for rigid bodies so that the objects fall in different directions, while flip fluids always keeps the gravity the same. An example pulls objects downwards. So first of all, at the selected domain box go to the word settings and here add gravity and force fields activate custom. In this way I make the flip fluids gravity independent of the gravity of the scene. And while I'm here I can still set the force field resolution. The higher, the more beautiful the result, but the longer the simulation also takes. You have to decide yourself. Personally, I'm a fan of waiting and getting good quality. So, ultra! And uh, yeah, here's a short comparison of the settings. I set the word size to 2 here, but this is also a value that you have to approach. Just imagine how big the water ball of the vein would be in the real world. Then you have a good starting point. Well, back to the objects. Actually, there is no advantage to working with gravity here, because I will let the objects fall infinitely deep anyway. 
This means that if you want you can simply work with keyframes. But I still use gravity because I want to explain to you how to convert the whole thing into keyframes. So let's start with frame 1. Here I set a starting point for my head by pressing I and choosing location and rotation. Then a few frames further I place the head in front of the ball because the blender physics will do the rest. So feel free to rotate the object a bit. And now I have to be careful because the object is slowed down by the second keyframe. This is due to the curve of the keyframe and I can correct this in the graph editor. Otherwise the object would not fall through at the full speed. In the graph editor select all points of the animation and then in the key menu set interpolation to a linear. Yeah. Then the object has to be turned into a rigid body. It must be active and the animated checkbox must also be animated by keyframes. Why? Because from the moment I deactivate animated, the blender physics kicks in and continues the movement according to the laws of physics. That's why it's now important to adjust the scene gravity in the right direction. And to get the slow motion effect, I can also keyframe speed, matching to the desired timing. So through the ball slowly and outside fast. And now comes a very important point. I have to animate the speed of the fluid simulation at the same time, otherwise the effect wouldn't work. By the way, all velocities are calculated correctly. That is, in the event of an impact, a corresponding wave is also generated. If I didn't slow down the fluid simulation, then it would be the same as if an object just slowly submerged into the water. But that would be pretty boring. So select the domain and search for speed in the physics properties. By the way, it also works very well with the search field. I simply set keyframes by pressing I on my keyboard while the mouse cursor is above an input field. Once that's done, I now convert the physics simulation of my head into a keyframe animation and this can be done in two steps. So step number one is select the head and bake the cache. Here also pay attention to start and end time. Then use the mouse cursor to navigate back and first in the timeline to check the result. And now the second point. If all this looks good, then I can press F3 and type bake to keyframes. Again select the desired frame range and confirm. Now the complete physics simulation is available as a keyframe animation and the object is therefore no longer a rigid body. Yeah, so now remember to check if the object is an obstacle. But why did I do the whole procedure in this way? Because now I can throw more objects into the water but the gravity is aligned in a different direction without influencing other objects. And so in the same way I can drop as many objects in as many directions as I like. But be careful, the speed value of gravity and the flip fluids adder must also be animated every time. Then comes the simulation. Well, there's not much to say here. After all, everyone decides for themselves what the whole thing looks like in the end. And because I just wanted to have clear water, I deactivated everything that is called white water. So it's just a water simulation without bubbles, foam and spray. And that also has the advantage that the simulation runs a little faster. Once the simulation is complete, I can beautify the final fluid surface to make the water look greater. The add-on has already provided me with a smooth modifier. Thank you very much. 
and I can select the water material from the flip fluid database and adjust it if necessary. I decided to change the refraction a bit so the objects look a little nicer through it. Now the animation only lacks the right sound and maybe music because that captivates viewers a little more. That's why I'd like to briefly introduce you to audio. Audio is a professional music and sound effect site where you can find suitable material for all your creative ideas. If that's exactly what you're looking for, you are in luck because you will find a link in the video description and that also gives you a discount. Give it a try. Yes, and that brings me to the end of my tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.